Because the truth is this, Libra, if you ever really doubted, you would have stopped and you would have not got, gotten through the clearing, but you did get through the clearing. And we can curse and we can swear and we can be angry and we can be sad and frustrated and say we want to give up. But if we've made it to the clearing, then we clearly did not give up. Libra, welcome my beautiful Libran souls to your week ahead tarot card reading. In this reading, we are going to reveal the energies that you're going to experience in the week ahead of whenever you see this message, which you call into you, making this message a timeless message because it comes to you when you need to hear it, when you're open and receptive to hearing it. And we start out with see the big picture, Libra, which is kind of a call to arms, honestly, to step back and be more objective. It usually means that the answer to your problem is right under your nose. You're just too close to it. You're getting lost in the details and you need to step back and gain some perspective. And then things will become very, very clear to you. Isn't it nice to know that the answer to your issue is so close and yet how frustrating to know that the answer to your issue uh, continues to maybe evade you simply because you're right on top of it. So Libra, we've got another card out. Let's get into this message. Remember to please take these messages where and how they resonate in your life. They are your messages, Libra. They have to make sense to you. If you're looking for a personal reading for you or a friend, then please go to my website because I do do those and you can book and schedule at www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com whenever you are ready. And then, of course, for a deeper understanding of these messages, where we'll just derive more details, um, you can join me for the extended reading after this video, and I hope you all do. <sighs> Libra, we're almost there. The message that just came through to me behind all the bird chirping <laughs> is the joy of knowing that prosperity is a long haul. Prosperity is the outcome or the, the reward of not only the patient, but the tenacious and the message that God sent when I was meditating is simply that you are successful. This is happening. Look farther. Look out. It's not instantaneous gratification, but it is the long haul. It is the reliable. That makes it sound so boring, right? It is. It is. <laughs> I don't know if I can go beyond that. This sense of whatever is worrying you may be worrying you because, like I said initially, you're looking too close at it or you're looking only what's happened already. And not all this potential that is just waiting for you to tap into it by sticking with it. So let's continue this message. We see the big picture, okay? And then we have 
the miracles are endless which is the card of abundance my friends it's taurus energy ruled by venus as well it deals more with financial gain than it does but also than it does usually with romance and relationships it would be more libra energy but this is prosperity it is sensuality it is this robust beautiful pleasure that of course, as Librans ruled by Venus, you love to experience. So there is prosperity. The miracles are endless if you just look out beyond the immediate. And then we have spirit has a plan. God's right there with you, guiding you. Also, once again, this is coming kind of from above. Look at the larger picture. And I promise we're going to get more into the details, but... This message matters as the foundation for the message that has to get through to you right now. And then we have bring your ideas to life. What is that long-term project you've been working on that you have not been working on right now that you put away that for some reason I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And you don't even remember why you stopped doing it. You need to pick that back up again. Your ideas are brilliant. They are coming into life and slowly but surely, whatever it is that you've been working on, more people are going to start to see. You're not going to be this hidden, you know, you felt like so, so, so shut down. You felt so unseen and it's not about popularity. It's about hello, knocking on how many doors and, and not being, and being, being pushed aside or not 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 uh, valued or not taken seriously but these are messages of your ideas are coming to life hold your vision my friends because you're out in front being the cardinal sign that you are you're out in front so people aren't going to get what you're demonstrating right away but what this good news is is that people are starting to get it they're starting to pick up bring your ideas to light starting to trickle down into those smaller minds or just people who were not ready for it yet and then we have watch and wait and spirit has your back watch and wait i've got you i've absolutely got you i've never left you You'll see, looking back, not too far, you're going to look back and realize this whole time I was carrying you. This whole time I was walking beside you. I was carrying you through the hard times. This whole time, you'll see, and it's almost like God knows that you're going to see soon enough that this whole time God had you. Like it, God was holding you and it's going to be revealed to you soon enough. Now, let's see the details of how all of this, pretty powerful way to start. Let's see the details of how all of this plays out. We don't doubt that God's got us. But what's happening this week? How, what do you need us to do? What do you need us to know, God? Um, maybe even choose to move or there is an opportunity to move to the next step. You've been thinking of something, you've been desiring something. This is the time to decide, make the move. It's it's stuck between to, I want to stay, but I want to go. Clearly, it is time to make that move or afraid to let go of the security in order to go on to the next adventure. We have the star card, which is a dream or wish, a wish fulfilled, an aspiration fulfilled, the sense of, I want, I know it sounds greedy, but I want more. You know, I know I can do more. I'm present for more. It's like, I know it. I've, it's always been out there. It's like, it's like you've, you've sensed it. You can feel it. Okay. All right. So how, what happens? It becomes tangible, an actual offer, perhaps of a job, perhaps a connection with um, an earth sign feminine. This would be somebody who's very responsible, reliable, practical, and pragmatic. 
And this could also be somebody seeing you this way. So one or the other, this is a person that's entering your life to give you an opportunity, a connection, validation, value, or this is actually you or people seeing you this way. This is what I'm saying about all the stuff that you have been working on is now physically manifesting itself. It's now tangelizing. I'm totally wordsmithing there. I'm making it up. It's becoming tangible, right? Something that you can actually see. So you have been looking, looking out for this, desiring it, wanting it. This is all about desire, wanting. And let's let's and let's strike the self-defeating concept of greedy. It wasn't about greedy, it was being aspirational. It was looking forward to the future, like hoping something would happen, praying it would happen. Please, please, please. Going after it, maybe even taking action to go get it, to go after it. And now we have this, this beautiful manifestation of all that we have been asking for and offer that comes in for you to actually be able to have and to hold. Okay, how is this all coming about? The Three of Wands is here to confirm that the investments that you made, the education that you studied and completed, the actions that you've taken were good investments. You are now cleared of the wood. The hardship is behind you. And everything in front of you, the way is clear. And you can not only see, oh my God, I've reached, like I've got, I've, I've reached the clearing, but you can also now see that, oh my God, there's something coming toward you. Like all through this, like this picture is really somebody that's just sort of cleared their way through the wood, through the hardship. And they're looking out of, the, they're on a precipice and they're looking out and they're like, oh my God. I did all of this hoping that that ship would arrive on time, that something would be there on the other side. And you can see, and not in too, too far in the distance, that's exactly what's happening. The ships are coming in. The ships are arriving. So this is very, very good news. <laughs> and ultimately, this is that one of those moments where you're like, wow, God really did have me the whole time. God's really got me. And go ahead and feel foolish. Go ahead and get on your knees and throw your hands in the air and th ask forgiveness for doubting. Because the truth is this, Libra. If you ever really doubted, you would have stopped. And you would have not got, gotten through the clearing. But you did get through the clearing. And we can curse and we can swear and we can be angry and we can be sad and frustrated and say we want to give up. But if we've made it to the clearing then we clearly did not give up. There is no way you make it here if you gave up. And all the swearing and the cursing and the sadness and the tears, that's just our way of like pushing out the negative energy so that we could go on another couple of steps. Like that's it. And so don't feel like you don't deserve this simply because you may have been a brat about it as you were going through it. Sometimes that happens. It's not who you are. It's what you had to go through. And that doesn't define everything about you. Clearly, because this is, you had the tenacity, and now there's this beautiful reward for faith on the other side. Now, faith is its own reward. Absolutely. And that's not why you did it. I think you did it because... Come on. It's, it's almost like God saying, you, you know it's out there. You know it's up front. If you see it, then you keep doing it until everybody else sees it too. Because that is what is going to happen. And you're going to be at that place soon enough where you're like, thank God I didn't give up. We have the emperor. This is Aries energy. You had to find the strength inside of yourself to go it alone, to be out there out front blazing a new trail, not knowing what was going to happen the next day, simply taking day by day and continuing in the momentum of forward, in the momentum of progress, the momentum of if I say it's going to happen, it's going to happen because 
this is manifestation power. And then we have, okay, Aries energy. This could also be the, the, the season because this is Aries season now. We have the King of Cups. So feeling good about yourself, a sense of emotional serenity and security, feeling that you have the power, knowing that you have the power. It's not power over people. It's power to manifest. That's what it is. And then we have Page of Pentacles. Guys, somebody loves you. Like, and I don't just mean in love. Perhaps for some of you it is in love. But I'm saying somebody really admires you. Somebody executive is really admiring you here. They have a lot of faith in you. Whether you realize it or not. They're like, yeah, this that that person's got it. That guy, that girl, they they're they're with it. They're exactly what we need. And the offer will be extended to you. And I think the offer or the opportunity or you'll finally start to see um the the payback coming in. You know, so many times we we make all these investments, and I don't just mean just financial investments but we we invest our time right and we just don't see any returns well that's that's what this little trickle down effect is it's almost like they want you to start something new they know that you have the potential to start something new or you know that you have the potential to start something new new you've already started something new and this is the great time to plant this seed hold on We have the devil here. So um, there was a lot of fear that you had to confront. Oh, you are going at it. You are going at whatever this greedy energy or afraid energy is. Staying stuck, having to hold back, like, like or, or obligations, maybe debt that you had to pay. Um, four of... Four of Pentacles comes with the devil because maybe you had you were holding on or being extra tight with all of your resources because you were afraid to move forward. But there is some confrontation of the devil here as well as greed. There, there is a sense of uh, waking up and realizing this isn't just about material value. This is about me being able to be proud of myself in the morning or me being able to believe in who I am again or show the world what I'm really capable of or just wreck some old status quo like it like i'm scared to move forward i don't want to do it or i don't know how this is you coming in like a wrecking ball and blowing that out of the water and not being afraid for us or even if you are afraid doing it anyway moving forward because there is always that choice these this is major arcana but these are minor arcana which means guys there's always a choice that you have to not move forward or to not keep going there's always that potential that you have to back down and just be scared and this is finding the courage to not do it so definitely make the choice to or to rail at any kind of fear that's going through you or pulsing through you this week because that's what will make you proud of you and will get you where you you want to go because there was some action it's just like i'm just going to i'm just going to go i'm going to feel the fear you've heard of that book it's called feel the fear and do it anyway and it's so interesting that when you feel the fear and do it anyway the fear gets less fearsome so this is kind of like confronting the devil looking the devil in your in in its eye and realizing it has absolutely no power it cannot do anything it's oh, the only the only way it can do anything is to work through you by controlling you and when you don't let that fear control you you are <laughs> I mean, that's probably the greatest experience that you can ever have is realizing that the devil just lies. Fear lies. That's what it that's what it does. We have you and your loved ones are safe. So please know that was that whatever was holding you back, especially what it looks like is financial restrictions or obligations or like that is being torn apart. That is being confronted. That is being battled against. You and your loved ones are safe, so there is this energy of momentum that is going to burst through that. That's the uh, moon card that's coming out. It's almost like 
a newness on the other side of something that was really closeted or cloistered or tried to like like tie you up there's this beautiful energy of just release of that now and seeing oh it was really nothing like looking back to see it, god was going to protect you the whole time he always held you down um god was always there making sure that you were going to have what you need even if things got tight for a while this is one of those near misses or it feels like oh it could have been a lot worse and thank god right and that's i listen the way this reading is is shaping up that is exactly what you're going to be doing on at the end of this week you're going to be on your knees just absolutely thanking god <laughs> that's you're going to have a lot to be grateful for you've got to get into these cards clean it up why does that card come out because you got to prepare it's like you've been shut down too long clean it up clean it up you're going to finally have guests over clean it up don't make it don't let it be messy because there's somebody coming for it if you have forgotten about it and you've neglected it maybe you gave up on it you were scared but now all of a sudden somebody wants to bring it out of the closet so it's like go on wax the car clean out clean out the storage unit whatever it is like clean it up it's time it's almost like spring cleaning is finally here you're finally letting yourself feel that or go in that direction it's you know put the shine on it is kind of what i'm getting out of this <laughs> wow that's exactly what it was it was legitimately clean it up because oh you know you put that car for sale and nobody for months nobody answered the ad you better clean it up because that not that ad's going to be answered and it's going to be full offer full asking price you know what i'm saying it's like whatever you almost gave up on go get it ready because now is when it actually the transaction actually happens we have answered prayers which is all all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support so answered that's that's there it is and then we have stress reduction de-stress your mind body and schedule as you need to rest recharge and revive not only are you getting a prayer answered but it's going to be able to relieve a stress or a burden that has been sitting on you and you're going to be actually able to take some time off because it's like oh my god the abundance or the, the resources they've turned back on again if you want to hear more of this message and why wouldn't you come on to your extended reading i'll see you guys there